Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to cluster two cPanel servers together. Um, if you are running a web hosting company, then it's more, most likely you're going to need the eventually need more than one VPS, especially once you start getting popular. If you want to be able to share the same um, servers, which means you can share the same DNS, um, it really is um, helpful to cluster them together. Also, maybe you're not reselling web hosting. Maybe you just have, your, you're an agency and you have a couple, maybe 100 sites or 50 sites, and you want them to um, be on the same server, but not all on the same server. So by clustering them, you can have a lot of the same features as they can share those DNS zone files um, but they're actually on separate servers for redundancy. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to use our 4 gigabyte, Hero 4 gigabyte is our master server, and then the Hero 2 gigabyte is the slave server. Um, then we can add additional servers as we need. So as the business, if we're, re if we're reselling web hosting and the business grows, we can keep on adding more and more servers, and then we just use the same process. It's really rinse and repeat. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is log into my client interface here at Name Hero. From here, I'm going to click on Cloud Web Hosting, and you're going to see I've got two servers now. I've got um, beta.namehero.org and alpha.namehero.org. Um, beta is the new one, and Hero's the 4 gigabyte uh, master. So I'm going to go to my 4 gigabyte here, and from here, I'm going to go to Web Host Manager, and I'm going to grab my password from here, grab it here, and log in. Okay, now I'm inside of Web Host Manager, and if I type in cluster, configure cluster, I'll see an area where I can set up my slave server. So I'm gonna click on create, and then I'm gonna go back to my client area, and I'm gonna click on my two gigabyte. I'm gonna scroll down and grab my Web Host Manager password. I'm then gonna click into Web Host Manager. I'm gonna log in here, and this is a new server, so getting a couple of my welcome messages. Let's go back into it here. Looks like it was doing an update. Okay, so we're going to grab the primary IP address for the server. We're going to grab it. We're going to go back over to our master server. We're going to paste this. We can just use the root um, user. We're going to go into here and go into API tokens. API tokens. We're going to generate one. We're going to call this master token. So just call it master. Um, and here's the token. So I'm going to copy this. Tell it, yes, I've saved my token. Go over here, paste the token, and save it. Okay, so now the slave server is connected to our... Um, our, our, um, the, the master server and the slave connect server are connected. So now I need to go back over to here, and I'm going to click DNS cluster. Enable clustering. Your change has been saved. Manage DNS cluster as root. So now this server here is the root. So return to cluster status. So now we can go over to here and we want to go into cluster. Configure cluster. You can see we need to add the master. So we're going to click create. Go over here. We're going to get this IP address. We're going to paste it. And we're going to create a token, API token. And we'll just call this one the slave. Generate. And now I've got an API token. Copy. Yes, I've saved it. Put it inside of here. Save. Okay. Now we can look in DNS cluster. Enable it on this machine. Return. Go back to here. Our master. DNS cluster. Enable clustering, turn to cluster status. And now you can see that these servers are sharing um, DNS. So here's alpha, this is the master, and over here is the slave. So this is beta. Um, so now if we go into beta and we go to DNS, edit DNS zone, um, we're not going to see it right now, but if when we when we do so, we can sync these up so that websites hosted on beta or alpha can share um, the same records. So this is if you're a web host again, this is helpful because if you move customers from server to server, have multiple servers, they can all use the same name servers. Um, and of course, this is this one here is the the root server, and um, and I mean that's 
pretty much how you do it. Um, if we get into, we can get inside of here and create the um, re remote relationship. I guess this is important as well. Um, and just how they synchronize and go back to each other. So let's just put that in here too real quick. So we'll just go ahead and paste in our token and we will go ahead and enter in our IP address again inside of here. And we'll connect with the username root. Set up reverse trust relationship. Synchronize changes. Submit. And if for some reason it didn't accept our token, let's just generate a new one. These API tokens are new to me. They just, um, they're actually, de they're deprecating uh, the access hash. Um, so since they are doing that, we are using these now and trying to get everyone up to par with using these instead of the remote access key since they are getting rid of that. So we're gonna paste this, so we root, and this is gonna be the IP address. And we're gonna paste this in here and submit. Okay, now the relationship's been established. Okay, so now we can go over here and we have to do the same thing, DNS. DNS cluster, go down here to cPanel, configure, and so now we need to go into tokens, generate another one for here. And it's always best, um, you, can, you can have as many of these tokens as you need. Um, this is why I like them, because instead of the remote access key where you generate it once and the one's used for the whole server, this one, you have separate tokens for when you need them. So you can revoke access to any particular application at any time. Huge um, security benefits there, especially for those of you using WHMCS. So as you're using these tokens to connect to there too, um, you're just a lot, you're gonna keep your boxes a lot more secure. So now we are gonna keep this as a synchronize. Submit. Okay, so now when we go into cluster, now we got a DNS cluster and these are can, these are hooked together now. So now any changes that happen on the DNS here, we'll be able to see over here. And so we can click here to synchronize the changes. Um, and we can go in and let's see if they show up here now in the edit DNS zone. Yep, so this is our beta. And so you can see we have all the DNS entries for our websites on alpha. So they're sharing that same DNS zone. So again, the benefits to that is when people are signing up with your hosting, they can use the name servers on any one of these servers, but you can have the sites on either server. This is good because again, it, it helps keep you from overselling your resources because you can put them on whatever server you have availability. If you need to move one over, you can easily move one over. Um, so just a, a, a flexible way to run your web hosting business or if you're not running web hosting and you just have a lot of sites with your agency and you don't want to have all those sites on the same server, um, then the DNS cluster is a very effective and efficient way um, to manage that. So that's the main benefit to clustering and DNS clustering with cPanel. Um, it's been around since they really started cPanel. I've been using it for well over a decade now. Um, and so it's just a way to, just to, easy, to better manage your um, DNS and to really set that stuff up. So if you have any questions on clustering your servers together, feel free to let us know. Um, you know, some of our top resellers, they've got as many as 10, 20 of them all together. And that's the power of VPS is because they can be scaled. But then again, you don't, if you don't want to build Hero 8 gigabytes and you just want to have smaller servers so then you can distribute those resources, that's the good thing about clustering. You can do that. You can have a couple two gigabytes, then have a couple four Hero 4 gigabytes. So it's however that best works best for your infrastructure. So let us know if you have any questions. But besides that, that's how you set up the clustering in Web Host Manager and at namehero.com.